Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. We are gonna look at your life purpose, path, and gifts for this journey as you look at the four mandalas and decide which one is standing out a little bit more, calling to you a little bit more. I will start with the first one. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. Hello to everyone who chose the first mandala. So I am really feeling that you have a connection to the angelic realm. You are somebody who's more empathic, more spiritually sensitive, more caring, kind, giving, generous than the average person. And this could be saved for those who are your near and dear, the ones you love, or this could be for the ones you love as well as being very um, giving, compassionate to strangers, um, different causes to help people out, all right? You're just made to be much more sensitive than the average person and really connect into others and understand how they're feeling and what they're going through. And you do have a connection to the angels. So you need to make sure that you are talking to them daily, all right? Magic and miracles are meant to be a part of your life, a part of your journey, and your prayers for others are answered as well. You are a powerful intercessor. So let's get into your messages. Let's see what spirit and your spirit guides and your angels that they bring forth about your life purpose, path, and gifts. All right, we've got Builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So you are a strong creator. This could mean you are literally hands-on good at building things, okay? But there's also a deeper meaning of this is that you are a strong creator. You create stability for others. You could also be a very strong provider. And even though you're made more sensitive than the average person. You also have more inner strength, emotional strength, spiritual strength, mental strength than the average person. And some of you that could go into the physical where you are also very strong physically, but you're meant to create and build. I even feel a sense of leadership with this card as well. All right, let's see what else. Okay, environmentalist, you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. Okay, so confirmation of you being an earth angel, and we picked up on that angelic connection right from the start. So some of you, this empathic, empathic ability that you have, it goes into nature and animals as well. It's not just about other people. You feel the energy of animals. You connect with animals. You are very in tune with nature, with, you know, the trees, the flowers, the forest. Very important for you to meditate and connect with Mother Earth Gaia frequently. She will help keep you grounded. And some of you, your career path is meant to do um, with, you know, animals or earth, earth conservation. It doesn't have to be as this is a general reading, but some of you watching this, this is part of your life path, your life journey. All right. And wow, look at that. We got flowers next. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Okay. So flowers are healing, they're uplifting, they smell nice, they bring happiness and joy to people. That's you, that's your energy in general. You are a bouquet of beautiful, fragrant flowers 
and your angels, your spirit guides want you to know this, all right? Some of you may have a calling to work with flowers specifically and maybe even, you know, doing rituals with different herbs, understanding different herbs, uh, making healing tinctures with different herbs and flowers, all right? So all of you are builders, very strong creators, manifestors, and this right here, some of you are meant to be very in tune with the earth, um, the animals, nature, forest, flowers. All right, look at that strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So this is just going back into the message of right here how you're made a bit differently and you are stronger mentally emotionally spiritually even in your wisdom okay you guys are earth angels i mean it came through right on this card you are earth angels and you are like a bouquet of flowers your energy your vibration Wow, before we even look, look at what's on the bottom. Sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. So your sensitivity and your strength has been confirmed. So we received that message and then boom, it, the exact cards came out. Okay, creative expression. God's divine creativity is expressed through your actions. So you know, that is the divine working with you and moving through you and moving through you to create beautiful expressions of art, okay? Working through you to bring love and healing and support to others. Those of you who are very creative, you know, whether you paint, draw, write, sing, or you have a very unique talent, this is God-given, okay? It's time to really explore it much further. You could go somewhere with this. And you're meant to be creative just in general, but it also goes back to the builder. As you are a master manifester, you're a creator, you're a builder, you're a leader. Vision board, create a board with images and words that inspire you. Okay, so at present, you know, this is your angels, your spirit guides coming through saying right now, it's time to create things that keep your mind focused on the long term, on your goals. Okay, a vision board is a wonderful project and exercise of that and putting it somewhere where you can look at it every single day. I have made vision boards and Things on them absolutely came true and also writing down different things you want to happen within three months within six months within nine months within a year that's also very effective you know writing it down so do exercises to keep you focused on your long-term goals because you are a man mm, sorry I'm getting tongue-tied a master manifester all right media you can reach more people by working with video, audio, print, and online media. Okay, some of you are meant to have a very strong social media presence for whatever it is that you want to bring, whether it's, you know, education and information about nature, about animals, about flowers, plants, um, you know, your talent, gift, ability, talking about spiritual things, talking about family things, like whatever your niche is, you're meant to have a voice in that. You're meant to be a leader in that. And if you already have social media for these things, then you are on the right path. Keep going. If you don't, now is the time to really consider putting your expression out via the internet in some capacity. And next, listen only to love. Don't allow fear to distract you 
from your divine mission. Okay, so one thing that you may struggle with this life journey, your kryptonite, is when you start getting insecure and, um, you know, really dealing with a lot of fear-based emotions. It can cause you to spiral and then you don't feel strong, you don't feel in control, you don't feel like a leader, okay? That is like your kryptonite. And so when you find yourself in moments of anxiety, in fear, in doubt, in darkness, call upon your angels, okay? They will come in, they will help anchor you, they will help um, lead you to the light. But also another good thing for you to do is meditate and connect with Mother Earth Gaia. There's a lot of meditations on YouTube for that because you and Mother Earth have a very special connection just like you and the angels have a very special connection. Those are your allies this life journey. Right, so breathe with Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So any healing or releasing of old patterns, old beliefs, this is the Archangel who says, hey, I will help you. I will work with you. Call upon me. We have a special connection because remember, we got that right from the start and then confirmed that you are an earth angel. And look at this, Archangel Sandalphon, gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So there are blessings in the works for you coming in. You are so loved. And now we have Archangel um, Gabriel with leadership. So another confirmation. It's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. And that can go in to that social media presence. Okay. Um, with whatever it is that you want to talk about, whatever it is you want to share, whatever it is you want to teach, you know, um, putting your gifts, talents, and abilities out there as an expression of your soul for others to feel healed or uplifted or learn from. You're meant to be in a more leadership role, okay? Um, even if you are more of a peacemaker where you really try to not uh, buck the current when, you know, there's tension, you really want to smooth it out. There is a very dominant aspect to you. You are wise. You are one with the angels. You have a lot to give, a lot to teach. And Archangel Jophiel, clear your space, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. Okay, so it's um, time to rearrange your space, clean your space, go through stuff that you no longer use, you no longer need. It's time for a cleanse of energy. Why? Because there are blessings coming. Okay? You're going to be rewarded for some things that you've done as of late, things you've been working on, love, support that you're giving to others. Some of you, this is going to feel like an answered prayer. All right, the personality triangle, personality, nurture, nurture, and mindfulness. And that is a beautiful depiction of you. The Mercury, the intelligence, the wisdom, the Venus is the empathy, the compassion, the gentleness, the nurturing, and the moon. This is that deep soul wisdom, um, as well as how you are a magic manifester. Anything you think you can find a way to physically materialize. There's nothing that you cannot create, especially with the help of the angels. And remember, you are a powerful intercessor. The things you pray for yourself and for others 
will be answered in some capacity by the angels. Look at that magic maker. Captivate, touch, tantalize, sense. Okay, with master number 33, see, you are a magic maker. You are a powerful manifester. You make magic for yourself and others. And this is also talking about the powerful intercessor you are, what you pray, what you ask for, for the upliftment and the betterment of others those prayers are answered in some capacity, always, always. And then you see the two big cats there with her representing your connection to nature. And then here she's standing on the water that's talking about how empathetic you are, the gentleness within you, your soul. All right, the poet, inscribe, envision, write, recite. So this is a strong confirmation for some of you that you are meant to write poetry or you're meant to write that book, those song lyrics, your thoughts on spirit, on life, on this, on that, um, teaching, whatever the case may be. Huge confirmation that some of you are writers and Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel that will really help you with your writing journey. Call upon him. Look at that teacher, learn, upskill, educate, prepare. So we already see that you're a builder. We already see that you're very wise and you're meant to be in more of a leadership role. You are a teacher and that is in conjunction with your connection with the angelic realm. You're an earth angel. And so the interactions others have with you are very activating for them at the soul. And this could also mean, you know, along with the social media, that you're meant to be in a leadership position teaching something. Right, priestess, begin, perceive, predict, prophesy. So you're also spiritually gifted. And some of you, perhaps that's what you're meant to do and share here, but you are very spiritually gifted. Your intuition is on point. You feel things. You see things. All right. Some of you have dreams of certain things and those dreams end up coming to pass, coming to, um, you know, fruition. Remember, you are a magic manifester. Don Juan, spotlight your positive, seductive qualities and using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Okay, so um, some soul lessons for you. You've struggled in soulmate relationships and this could be, you know, friends, family, romance. You often feel as though you get the short end of the stick. You're taken advantage of. You, you wish your heart didn't love so deeply. OK, because you feel, you know, kind of used at times and you've got to understand that you are a beacon of light and you shine brightly and people are attracted into your light. And one thing, you know, being a strong empath is learning boundaries. And so I feel in this life that's part of some of your soul lessons as learning those boundaries between you and others where you end and where they begin. Because since you are so empathic, so angelic in your energy, you truly do connect 100% mind, heart, and soul with others and you feel them and when they're going through it it's as if you're going through it and when they're happy you're uplifted okay so there's a soul lesson in this life journey about learning boundaries okay when it comes to your soulmates next is child orphan independence based on learning to go it alone conquering fear of survival Feelings of abandonment that stifle maturation and seeking inappropriate surrogate families. All right, some of you may have um, been adopted as a child, okay? 
um, but also this is a message of feeling abandoned, feeling uh, left out. And for many of you, you feel that you've had to shoulder a lot of things on your own, this life journey. And this is a message of there's several awakenings that you're going to experience this life journey in the realization of truly how strong you are and awakening to your connection to the angels. And, you know, maybe even from a very small age, you felt the angels around you because you are one of them. And I feel there's been a lot of independence or a bit of a solitude journey for you. And, you know, during that process, it's for those awakenings to take place. It's for you to realize how strong you are on your own. You are a leader. You are a protector. You are a builder. You are a teacher. And it's through the realization of your own strength that you will deeply inspire others. All right, the alchemist. See, you are a master manifester. Transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. So you are a master manifester. All right, you are the alchemist. You are meant to think it and bring it into reality. And now we have, look at this. See, you are one with heaven. You've got God coming out. Benevolent and compassionate, recognizing the eternal forces within yourself and others. See, you are one with the divine. You are one with the angels. You are different. The energy about you is different. You feel deeper for the good or the bad. And you are a teacher and a leader, so at times you may feel that those around you are just very immature and sensitive. It's because you contain more wisdom, more evolution, and you your interaction with them is to help them evolve and grow. And again, you're going to have multiple wake awakenings throughout this life journey. All right, waning gibbous moon, harvest, reception, gratitude. So at different points throughout life, the creator, the most high is directly blessing you for your service along with the angels for doing God's work, for doing the angels work. All right, dissonance, adjustment, discord. You bring order and healing and balance where things are out of balance. Juno, you know, marriage, commitment, bonds. Your soulmate relationships, again, are going to be very important to you through this life journey. And they may challenge you, right? But remember, you are activating light within each and every soulmate. You are of a higher evolution, of a higher vibration and you're helping others evolve and awaken this life journey. Look at that trine, auspiciousness, positivity, luck. And so there is, you know, in a natal chart, the grand trine is a symbol of blessing and protection from previous life work and sacrifice and so you have that symbol over you this life journey from the service that you've given to spirit to the angels in past lifetimes which means there's always going to be a blessing coming in for you no matter how dark how bleak something may seem there's always going to be a blessing in store for you you are one with the angels And you are spiritually gifted, as well as some other creative talent and endeavor. Yeah, you are so wise. You see the truth of things. You are above religion. You are connected to the angels, to heaven. And look at strength again. You bring a strength mentally, emotionally, and spiritually that is unmatched and you've earned that through 
you know, many lifetimes before. And look at here, we've got judgment. Um, I do feel each and every one of you has a spiritual calling, okay? And for a lot of you, that will have to do with your soulmates, where you're activating them, you're seeding their consciousness with light, with higher vibration, so that they too may evolve and expand. It's a big part of this life focus for you. Yeah, because look at the next card out is the Two of Cups, your soulmates. And lastly, we have the Three of Wands. And that's good things are always going to happen, okay? And some people may look at you and think, wow, you just, you have the best luck out of nowhere. And, you know, it is what it is. You deserve good things. These blessings that are sprinkled throughout your life journey are blessings from previous lifetimes where you have done great service for spirit, for the angels. And that carries into this life journey as well. Okay, um, your biggest struggle is going to be with your soulmates, and it's because you are the teacher. You're, you're really trying to help them, and good things will always come to you. Believe that in your soul and know that your prayers hold more weight, and anybody, you know, who's in need, who needs help, when you ask from your heart, the angels are always going to answer. They're always going to assist. They're always going to help out. And not just for others, but also for yourself. But you have to have trust and openness with the angels. You are part of them. You are an earth angel. And you're, you're meant to be a leader, a teacher, a builder with the gifts that you possess. And a strong light for others as well. And I know that that's not always easy to handle. But you are a beacon of light. And you are always unconditionally loved and cherished by the angelic realm. And right now, Archangel Raphael really wants to help you with any healing. Archangel Gabriel wants to help you with your writing Okay, you're being blessed. Call upon Archangel Michael to help you navigate a direction in your, your life if you're feeling like you lack direction. You have a very strong connection to the angels. Never forget that. Remember, the angels and Mother Earth Gaia are your allies for this life journey. You guys go way back. You've been in service to both in lifetimes before. And so they are here to help you and help serve you through this life journey and the work that you're doing. So always call upon them. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everyone who chose the second mandala. So what I'm feeling for you right away is you guys have a strong personality. Um, your energy is more bold, bigger. Um, you're somebody who can get the uh, attention of a whole room. All right. You have a big personality. And uh, at times people may misunderstand you where they're like you're kind of insensitive or you're mean and you're not you are just very truthful and straightforward you're not somebody who wants to have to you know beat around the bush walk on eggshells coddle somebody's feelings that's just not how you're made you are a go-getter you are a leader you make things happen in your life you're very strong-willed Okay, um, at times, maybe, you know, in your youth growing up, you could have been quite rebellious. You kind of go against anything that doesn't feel right or seem right for you. So you have a very strong personality. And Spirit wants you to know that you were made that way for a reason. So embrace your boldness. Embrace your strength. 
because you're more honest than most people. All right, this just jumped. What do we have? Study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So you are very wise. Would you ultimately choose to do this life journey? You are going to be a master at it. For some of you, you are going to have the same career path your whole life through. And it's like through out your life you continue to climb the ladder to the next level some of you may even you know go to school to receive the highest degree of education in your field all right um and also with this i could see um some of you having your own business okay because your energy you command respect and there is a great deal of wisdom. You are somebody who can get things done. It doesn't mean that you don't get overwhelmed or overstimulated, but you're somebody who can truly push through a challenge. You're like, um, you could even be a life coach, um, a physical trainer in a gym. You're meant to kind of push people into the change that they need in their life. All right, children, your life purpose involves helping, teaching, or healing children. So many of you are meant to be parents and have your own children, and they're going to carry on your legacy, your strength. Um, some of you, this is a career path that you're choosing to help children, whether um, like a pediatrician, a surgeon, a therapist, social work, uh, being a teacher, perhaps running a daycare, early learning center. Many of you are going to choose a career path that involves children. Um, and as I'm getting some of you are parents, the way I'm seeing this is some of you are, it's not your own children, but there's multiple children that you see as your own and and see you're teaching the children you're bringing the strength um to them teaching them of their own strength their own power having ambition having dreams All right, infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. All right, each and every one of you are meant to come into a very comfortable time in life where you have a lot of abundance, okay, around you, living a life of abundance, having everything that you need. Um, I feel with this one, you guys are meant to have money, Okay, you are. And look at on the bottom. We've got family down here and we got that children up there. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. Okay, so we're going to take that because oh, we'll put it over here. I do feel family is very important to you. Um just your own family roots the family you create for yourself. Some of you, this could be um, where you're helping out again in some sort of family services. But you are a, a strong inspiration, a strong leader. I feel many look up to you Success. Congratulations. You did it. I mean, <laughs> that being the first card out, that just talks about how I'm getting that energy right from the start. 
that you are a go-getter. You are somebody that makes things happen. And if you don't feel that that speaks to you in this life journey, then this is a big wake-up call. And the angel's saying, hey, let us help you tap into that inner strength and fully awaken you to who and what you are. Because again, you are a force, all right? You are your own vibe. You are unique. It's something special. Very strong, strong-willed, strong mind. I will get things done. I will have success. I will make it happen. All right. Law of Attraction. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positivity into your life. So see with that positive energy, you do things in very specific ways that bring success. You are a deep inspiration to others and you know some people again may find you arrogant or um, controlling, pushy maybe not so sensitive always, but it's because they get triggered because they need to work out some things within them. Sometimes, you know, it's good to always care about people's feelings and what they're going through, but sometimes we've got to overcome our feelings. And you're somebody that's more along those lines is don't let your emotions, you know, control you, dictate things for you or um, cause you to self-sabotage. You are very strong mentally. You are somebody that can make um, head over heart choices. And perhaps, you know, younger in life, you allowed your emotions to make some choices for you and they didn't have, it didn't have a good result and you learned from that quickly. Very mature, very wise. And with the law of attraction, that's why I'm getting you're meant to have money. You're meant to have success and abundance and a comfortable life. Vulnerability. Listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration. And then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. Okay, so one thing that may be a struggle for you is is exposing your vulnerability and again i feel there's some things that may have happened early in life that caused you to be more closed up more um, private when it comes to your emotions and things that may hurt you or, or make you afraid you're very private about that so one thing that you are working on this lifetime is becoming vulnerable allowing yourself to be vulnerable and exposed in certain situations and journaling continuously writing about your feelings and activities stirs creative ideas and builds your confidence as a writer okay so this won't resonate for all of you but some of you, you're meant to be writers and you know if that's your message or not, right? And this is a call from Archangel Gabriel saying, hey, let's get on the ball with this. Call upon me in any sort of writing that you want to do. This is the angel that will help you, whether it's writing a paper on something, um, it's writing a book a story, a poem, music, trying to express your feelings. It doesn't matter. Any form of written or verbal expression, Archangel Gabriel will help you with that. So call upon him and start writing. Some of you are meant to be a writer here. All right. Okay, Archangel Haniel with sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Okay, so again, you're very strong, right? And when your emotions start getting out of balance, um, getting ahead of you, feeling bigger than you, you have a tendency to really disconnect. And when you find yourself in that situation, Call upon Archangel Haniel. She will help you understand your emotions and work through them. And she wanted to flip as I was shuffling, so. All 
All right. Look at you got Archangel Gabriel coming in with leadership. It's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So a big, strong confirmation of the messages we've already received. And Archangel Gabriel is an archangel that is working with you very strongly throughout this entire life journey. So really call upon him daily. Talk to him daily. He will guide you. All right, Archangel Azriel, counselor, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So another confirmation of some of you um, meant to be in, you know, working with children and counseling, or this could even be adult counseling, therapy, things like that. You have a lot to offer. And we have Archangel Jophiel outdoors go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas okay another thing for you is it's very important that you do have your alone time your downtime when you are in your own space so that you don't get so overwhelmed i'm feeling as though some of you may struggle with anxiety at times okay because again there may be a fear of connecting in with your vulnerability, really um, feeling your emotions at times. So make sure you're getting some alone time. And during that alone time, connect with Archangel Haniel to better understand yourself, your emotions, and whatever's happening at present. Path, the Empress, Creative Endeavors, Nurturing Fertility. This is just another message of how you are meant to have a very abundant life, to be very successful in life. And again, um, this being parents or having a special connection to children, this is also a special connection to Mother Earth Gaia. And we do have the outdoors. So doing meditations, tons to choose from on YouTube to connect with Mother Earth Gaia would be very um, healing and beneficial for you. But you bring abundance. You bring inspiration. You bring creativity. You are a way shower, a way maker. You are meant to have a lot of success in this life journey and really rise into a position of power. Right, illusionist, divert, spellbind, revamp, unveil. You help people see where they illusion themselves, where they stand in their own way, the blocks that they create for themselves. You're just very wise. You make things happen. And, and it's easy for you to see why somebody doesn't have success in their life. You know, um, how they get in their own way how they self-sabotage. It's very easy for you to see that. Musician, shine, play, invoke, express. Okay, some of you are very musically inclined and here's your confirmation on that. And also remember, connect with Archangel Gabriel to help you really expand this gift within yourself. Sage, advise, acquire, invest, accumulate. So a double confirmation right here of just how wise you are, how much of a leader you are, and also with acquire, invest, accumulate, another reference of how you are meant to live a comfortable, abundant life, this life journey. You And all that money, all that comfort you earn with your own hands, with your own intelligence. I feel there's a lot that you could leave behind for future generations as well as um, creating 
family wealth, generational wealth. All right, luminary, advocate, brighten, impact, determine. Again, you're wise, you understand life, you know the path to success, you know how to overcome things, and you see how others really block themselves and get in their own way of happiness, of prosperity, of success. You see how they give up too easily, too quickly. Yeah, you're not somebody who is meant to be small by any stretch of the imagination, okay? You're meant to stand out. Uh, you're meant to be noticed. You're meant to be respected. Some of you are really meant to be in the spotlight in the career path you choose, becoming a master at it or being very, very successful at it. And I'm getting you're very inspirational to people. And again, the only thing that you seem to struggle with is coming to terms with your own feelings about things sometimes and allowing yourself to feel open, exposed, and vulnerable in certain relationships or certain situations. But man, you got the Empress, you've got success, infinite abundance, and the Sage. And then leadership. So every single deck has said, listen, this is a life that you are meant to have a lot of physical comfort and abundance. You deserve this. This is a life of great success for you where you're leaving a legacy behind of some kind. You know, and look at this. The musician comes out with um, Archangel Gabriel and, and you see the trumpet there. So those of you who are musically inclined, if you're not doing anything with that gift, here is your call from Archangel Gabriel to start. Okay, do something with it. See where it leads you. And again, make sure you're getting the alone time that you need to just decompress, to just be in your own energy. I feel you get a lot of epiphanies and clarity when you're out taking a walk or just on your own connecting with nature. Dedicated dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. How perfect is that for you? Yes, this is you. Okay, this is what you bring. You have the answer, the solution for anyone of how to overcome. You just see it. You understand it. And you also have the strength and dedication within yourself of anything you would preach to another. Some of you may be very athletic as well. All right. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, child wounded. Light attributes. Awakens compassion and desire to serve others other wounded children open opens the learning path of forgiveness okay so this child the wounded child again some of you went through that personally and because of that it's made you so strong and ambitious and that may be um, for those of you where you are working with children protecting them guiding them teaching them that child connection is so strong for you. All right. Wow. Child eternal. Another child energy. Determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Okay. So there's this aspect of you 
where you are in tune with your inner child. It isn't all work and no play for you. At times, absolutely, you could be very focused, but you are in tune with your inner child and you're creative and you're fun. And sometimes you find yourself a bit more spontaneous. And for some of you, man, children and animals just flock to you. They love you. They love your energy. Now we have the storyteller. So here's that writing again. Ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. Okay, some of you are writers. Archangel Gabriel is going to help you. We got writers, musicians. Um, we got teachers, child advocates, social work, doctor, anything to do with the child. But also, you know, here I do see where whatever you choose for your career path, it's a long journey where you really rise and master every level of that career path. Some of you are multifaceted. You're good at a lot of different things. All right. Waning Crescent Moon, Surrender, Restoration, Trust. So this is one thing that you kind of struggle with is not feeling in control of things, not being able to see the way things are going to unfold. Again, it goes back to um, just this sense within you of being very strong, being very independent. And so when you can't see the road ahead, it, it kind of throws you off. In those moments, you've really got to trust your journey. All right, retrograde, reversal, uh, deceleration, and distance. So this life journey, there's a lot of aspects, elements, and relationships that uh, come from previous life journeys. So this life journey, you're kind of completing a larger soul cycle that has um, gone back to more than one lifetime in the past, okay? And this is like the completion of it, the finale of it. And that's why this life is meant to be so abundant and productive and successful. Next, we have Sirius, self-care, wellness, and agriculture so you're very aware of you of your body of your mind of health in general okay and that goes back into some of you following more of a doctor path and then we have solstice focus transition amplification yeah this life journey is the completion of a much much larger soul cycle that you've been working on that extends over several lifetimes Family, children, meant to be very important to you. A big, strong focus for you. Yes. Abundance and success with that Ace of Pentacles very intelligent, very wise, nothing, there's nothing that you can't overcome and conquer, ace of swords, wow, you got the ace of cups next, so um, the people you love is who you love, your soulmates are important to you, okay, king of wands, see, this shows just how much of a wise leader that you are, and lastly, we've got the ten of cups, so this is great, happiness do you see that three aces the king of wands and the ten of cups this is you this life journey okay it doesn't get much better than that and look we have uh the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles so this tells me you know any monies of worry abundance and success that you have in your life is only the catalyst that really pushes you forward into great success okay and, um, you know, three aces, money, 
intelligence, great love, uh, and you know whatever it is that you do, you become the the leader, the high manager, the supervisor, maybe even your own business. And this life is meant to have a lot of happy, special moments for you. It doesn't mean that there's not going to be any ups and downs, any struggles in your life. But man, there are a lot of beautiful blessings and a lot of personal achievement and accomplishment for you, this life journey. And again, there with that uh, Ten of Cups, there's a strong focus on family for you, this life journey. And I'm just seeing what if I'm getting anything else. Anything to do with writing, following your dreams, call upon Archangel Gabriel. You have a special connection to that Archangel This Life journey. And, you know, remember when you need to really focus on your emotions, face your emotions, work through your emotions, call upon Archangel Haniel to help you with that process, that journey. And she will. She will come in. But you are meant to be and experience great success this lifetime and whatever you choose to do. All right. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everyone who chose the third mandala. All right, for you guys, I am feeling that you are quite unique. The way you see the world is very different than the average person. And I do feel that you guys have gone through some experiences that most people wouldn't believe were real, okay? And so this is like the paranormal, the unexplained. You have definitely gone through one experience, if not multiple experiences in your life up to this point, okay? Um, you may be very fascinated with the paranormal, with aliens, um, life on other planets, the cosmos, uh, deeper thoughts on spirituality, really going outside of the box, okay, from the standard thinking that's present of today. You are not meant to blend in with the crowd. You are truly your own vibe. You march to the beat of your own drum. And at times, that may have made you feel very alone, very isolated, and, you know, have brought on bouts of depression because your vibration is so different that at times it's hard to really resonate with people. It's hard to understand this planet and everything that's going on. And it, it can be overwhelming for you at times. Okay, you are something different and some of you may even identify as a star seed. Okay, so let's pull some cards. Let's go deeper into your soul. Author, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. Okay, each and every one of you have had some experience, encounter something, or your spiritual wisdom, your knowledge, a fictional story that you want to tell. It's time to begin writing. And if you feel stuck or you don't even know where to begin or how to start, Start talking with Archangel Gabriel. He is the Archangel that will help with all of your expression, whether verbal or written, okay? But this is a big confirmation that you are meant to write a book of some kind or uh, maybe even having like a blog, all right? So here is your sign. All 
right, so next we have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. I'm not surprised to see crystals coming out for you guys just because, like I said, your vibration feels kind of otherworldly. Crystals are very important for you. They're very healing for you. They also will help you connect to other dimensions, your star family. And with the crystals, that's also a reference of Mother Earth Gaia. It's important for you to be amongst nature just because of you, your energy. There are a lot of meditations on YouTube to uh, connect with Mother Earth Gaia. And you need that. It's very revitalizing for you, very healing for you. And, you know, some of you may already have a whole collection of crystals. This is why you, you're drawn into them. And those of you that don't have any crystals, ask your angels, say, Align me to the perfect crystal for me, for your healing, for your channeling, whatever the case may be. And also some of you, this is a call to learn Reiki. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. Okay, so every single one of you has the gift of divination, whether you're clairvoyant clairsentient, uh, clairaudient, claircognizant, being a medium, or just, you know, working directly with the cards, being very intuitive. Every single one of you has the gift of divination. And if you've never worked with cards, a tarot deck or oracle cards, I feel this is a strong message to begin that journey now. All right. And they're just, you know, go on to Amazon or whatever and just have your angels lead you to the best deck for you but you have the gift of divination and look at this some of you are meant to create an oracle deck all right some of you are meant to create a reference a guide a teaching tool about crystals and you know it doesn't limit you to these two options but all of you are meant to write or vlog And your next and last card is sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So you are very spiritually sensitive. You pick up on the vibes of things. You may not always know what you're feeling, what you're picking up on, but you definitely have the gift of that. Pay attention to your intuition. If you don't feel very connected, it's time to start doing exercises to strengthen it. You are very spiritual. All of you are spiritually gifted. You may even feel that you've come here for a higher spiritual mission, higher calling, carrying light codes of the, air, uh, the Aquarian age to upgrade humanity. Have confidence in your creations. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. So um, outside of writing, there are other things that you are gifted and talented at. You know, um, all of you feel very creative, artistic, in tune with your soul, with your emotions. And um, a lot of you would be very happy in a career path doing spiritual work, divination, um, utilizing your creative talents, gifts, abilities. Okay, so if you're not already on a career path aligned with that um, and you feel very unhappy in your current job, current career path, it's time to start opening yourself up to your gifts, to your spirituality, and start doing things on the side or really start the learning process because I feel um, there is a point for every one of you where the way that you earn your income is more from spiritually based practice or something around your talents, gifts, abilities, even writing. Okay, so many of you 
are going to have like two career paths, this life journey, which you start out doing. And then um, as you transition into your gifts, your talents, your abilities. All right, let go. Release the desire to control the situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. So you may struggle with not being in control of things um, because your spirit is so strong and you are gifted. You are often what you feel or what you foresee is what comes to pass. All right, so when you feel blinded spiritually, you, you can't... Uh, fill out intuitively what's to come or what the right answer is it could start causing a lot of anxiety and in those times that's when you really need to release your grip on the outcome of things because when we're really tangled up we start over analyzing we feel anxiety which evades the solution the answer in times like that connect with mother earth gaia as well as crystals even getting some reiki Pay attention to your dreams. You are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your subconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. Okay, so when you guys are dreaming, really pay attention because you are connecting with your angels, with your spirit guides, with passed on loved ones, with your star family. Okay, and they're giving you guidance, they're giving you healing about your spiritual mission for this life journey, and uh, all the answers you will ever need will, will always be found within you. That's why when you're feeling confused, lost in the dark, it's time to let go, surrender, connect with Mother Earth Gaia, connect with your spirit guides. All right, blocks lifted, previous obstacles came from fear and they are now lifted away okay so where you've been feeling blocked and this could be around your life purpose path all of that those blocks are being lifted all right your angels are coming in many of you it's time to align to your spiritual mission for this life journey and archangel gabriel right now is the strongest archangel that's come through but let's see who else will come through who else wants to work with you and assist you at this time? All right, so we have Archangel Raphael with Breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay, so Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, and this is mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Wherever you need healing, call upon this Archangel to help you with that healing journey. He is powerful. He helped me on my healing journey. Okay, and for those of you that are meant to heal with crystals, um, with your words, with your divination, with your energy, this archangel is the one to work with as a healer. He will make you even more powerful. Right, we have compassion with Archangel Zadkill. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all of the people and all of the people involved, including yourself. Okay, so um, when you need healing between you and another. Archangel Raphael and Archangel Zadkill. Some of you, um, you know, this could be your calling to be a therapist or a counselor to help people move through, you know, their emotional trauma and wounds. You know, in fact, all of you, oh, sorry, I, I, uh, I hit the camera. In fact, all of you are a healer to some degree with this card coming out here. All right, we have Archangel Raziel, take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, so you are meant to have happiness, love, comfort, and abundance, but because you are made so spiritually sensitive and you often feel kind of like the odd one out in this life journey, you know, at times you feel small. 
when you're feeling small, call upon Archangel Raziel to help you, to remind you, to empower you. All right, let's see who else we have. And we have Archangel Osriel coming through. And look at Counselor. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So whether you choose this as a career path or not, everybody around you, friends, family member, romantic partner, you are kind of their therapist, right? You understand them, you empathize with them, you feel them, you offer really good advice, but you're also a healer, okay? So all through uh, these cards, it's really you are a healer of some kind, and you need to believe in yourself. And when you're feeling small, call upon Archangel Raziel. When you need healing, call upon Archangel Raphael. When you need to be more tender and compassionate with yourself and remind you of who you are, Archangel Zadkiel, all right? And um, for those of you that want to be healers or are healers, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Zadkill, and Archangel Azrael. Also with this card, for those of you that are mediums, um, it is said that Archangel Azrael helps guide the souls who are transitioning from the physical back to heaven. Okay, so for those of you that are mediums or you want to get into hospice work, this is the Archangel to call upon to really help you with your work. So we have the 19th path with strength, lust, defending the weak, peacekeeper, sincerity. Okay, so look at how strong you are. You look at those lions that surround you and protect you. Some of you may feel that you have a Lyra connection as a star seed. Okay, but you are the, the peacekeeper. You do protect the weak, the vulnerable. You care deeply about what people are feeling, what they are going through. Sometimes it may be a bit overwhelming for you, but you are strong. And, you know, this is really, uh, you got, you see the Leo emblem and the lions. There's a lot of Leo energy here. Leo is ruled by the sun. You are like the sun, okay? The healing that you bring, the compassion that you bring, the understanding that you bring, the spiritual gift that you possess. You are like the sun. And this life journey feels more about helping others, healing, doing spiritually based work more than your own uh, like evolution it's you're always growing and learning but this feels like a lifetime where you are remembering you know through awakenings where your soul wisdom kind of comes in spurts all right there may be when you're having a challenging experience it's more to activate and awaken rather than to teach and grow all right you are the teacher And when you're facing a challenge or an obstacle or a struggle, tell yourself, okay, this is awakening me. This is activating me to another aspect, another part of myself that needs to come online for what's ahead. And when you're experiencing that in a relationship, you've got to realize that you are um, seeding consciousness in another person. And if you were torn between the first mandala and the third mandala, they're, they're very similar energies. Um, this goes a bit deeper spiritually, but that would be why. 
you are attracted to the two most spiritual energies, life paths. All right, look at that. Artist, dream, design, craft, create. See, you're more of a free spirit. You're meant to create, um, bring art, bring healing. The typical that would fit on a standard person doesn't fit on you. Your soul really needs to feel free. All right, shapeshifter, ruffle, cease, bewilder, shake. You are meant to kind of shake somebody up at times. All right, you're even though you are very deep and spiritual, loving, healing, all of that, you are meant to make people uncomfortable. So I feel for you, it's like people either really connect and resonate with you or it's almost like they're repelled by you. And the ones that act repelled, it's because your vibration is so different from theirs and you're activating them. You are awakening them. And look at that, the empath, feel, relate, understand, console. So you are also empathic. You really feel what somebody else is going through and experiencing, all right? Um, I feel we already kind of picked up on that, but just here is another confirmation of that. And the healer, cleanse, grieve, grow, heal. You are a healer. So that's just another confirmation. Very powerful message for you guys. Lots of confirmation. Right, we have the athlete's dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower, and strength of spirit. Um, and then this says misuse of athletic ability for selfish ends, false sense of invulnerability, and entitlement. So that's kind of the energy you are up against. But see, you transcend the physical limits, which means you do have fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional experiences, paranormal experiences. And this is a, a big confirmation. And with athlete, you are able to do a lot more than the average person. Always believe in yourself. Next is damsel. Understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. Okay, so you are not somebody who needs saving you would love help, you would love support, but you are very strong and independent. You have a very free spirit. You cannot be contained. To be contained will only bring you sadness and depression. You need to always feel a sense of freedom. And we got the shapeshifter. So you got the shapeshifter twice. Skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. Ability to see the potential in everything. Look at that. Yes, you are a shapeshifter. And the fool. Uh, fearlessly revealing emotions. Helping people laugh at absurdity and um, hypocrisy. Wow. So, you are a healer. You help people see the light in things, um, feel better about life, about themselves, about what they're going through, what they are experiencing. You are such a gift to this world. And again, you're meant to walk a, a much more spiritually based path than the average person. All right, so we have second house, finances, values, possessions. You may struggle 
with money, abundance, uh, what your career is supposed to be at some point in your journey, but you're definitely going to come into a space of figuring that out. And um, I do feel there comes a point where your life path is experienced much more comfortable and abundant, especially, you know, with more money coming in. All right, fifth house, fun, hobbies, creativity. See, you're artistic, you're spiritual, you have a lot of different talents and abilities, and that you're meant to have more of a path to earn income in that capacity. And see, with that Leo energy, you got it there again. So that's just a big confirmation. Some of you are meant to really be in the spotlight be famous for what you do. And now we got the sun, life, vitality, and purpose. The sun rules Leo. And I was saying you are a sun. And there you go. Never forget who and what you are in your power. Fourth house, family, roots, foundation. And you know, this is some Cancerian energy. And this is just talking about how sensitive, empathic, psychic you are and how people feel safe and at home in your energy in your presence you're meant to shine you're meant to stand out remember you're not meant to blend in the sun is the main event in the daytime sky. Yes, yeah, see, you are meant to accumulate wealth and abundance this life journey with that Ten of Pentacles. And see, you are a strong leader and it's okay to walk your path solo at times. You are a teacher, a healer, a leader. You're coming through as the emperor and you got the ace of cups so you are meant to align to a special soulmate this life journey yeah and look at you got the two of cups next you do you guys have like um a twin flame and here the three of wands abundance is always going to come to you believe that okay always believe that you are meant to be the best at what you do. You are part of a, a twin flame union. You're meant to accumulate wealth and abundance. Remember, you are like the sun. And you're meant to shine. You're meant to heal. You're meant to bless. You're meant to show the way. You're meant to hope and inspire and... At some point, you're meant to earn your income through your um, creative talents, gifts, abilities, or your spiritual talents, gifts, and abilities. Some of you are meant to um, write a book, right? Um, working with crystals is very healing and empowering for you. All of you should own at least one oracle deck and one tarot deck. And work with it daily, connecting with the higher realms, connecting with your star family. And there's a strong Leo connection here. Um, so those of you that are Leo sons or you have strong Leo placement in your chart, this is an extra special message for you. Um, Archangel Raphael, Zadkil, and um, Azriel want to help you with your healing and especially at Osriel for those of you who are mediums or doing hospice care. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everyone who chose the fourth mandala. So with you guys, I am feeling that you are somebody who is balanced, who 
very uh, articulates themselves very well you're responsible and I feel like I'm feeling Libra energy that doesn't have to mean that you are Libra okay but I am feeling strong Libra energy which is about fairness balance honesty truth and some of you I feel are a very straight arrow um, meaning you do you stay in between the lines um, you're not one to sample things that may not be good or beneficial for you okay um, and I feel some of you are very healthy very health conscious um, in what you eat being very athletic you know exercising every day walking jogging or going to the gym and I'm also getting, with that Libra energy, a strong balance about you where you are in tune with your divine masculine and you're very in tune with your divine feminine as well. You are a fair, balanced, and honest person. And you do articulate yourself quite well. I feel you're forward, you're open. You're meticulous. In the way you go about things, you could be very organized, very routined. You choose to walk the line. I do feel that sometimes you need to have a little bit more fun and not be so serious. Look at I'm going to cut the deck in Justice. Justice is the card that represents Libra in the tarot. You're just honest. You're fair. You have a conscience. All right, we've got body work. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training this could even be um, tattoo artistry but some of you are meant to walk a path very focused on the physical body okay and um, this could even be a doctor a nurse and I do I feel like a, a tattoo artist as well so this is a specific message for some. This may not resonate for all, but what else do we have? Career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance you deserve. You desire and deserve. Okay, so this lifetime, you are going to pursue one career path, but at some point there is going to be a change where you start doing something part-time, kind of on the side and then you just like slowly transition into doing that full time all right so you guys are going to have some sort of career change and this could even be where you go for from working for another person to eventually working for yourself and now we have protected you are safe and supported while you change your career oh my gosh that goes so perfect with this card, okay? When you come upon that junction in your life and you're feeling very pulled, know that you are being led by the angels, okay? And if as you're watching this, you've been thinking about a career change, this is time, okay? It's time to really open up to it. Ask the angels, all right, show me. Show me what would truly bring me joy and happiness. What do I need to pursue? And next we have family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So your soulmate connections this lifetime are very instrumental to you and your life path, all right? And so you're going to be very family orientated and that could be with your blood family, all right? But that also includes, you know, family of friends, of romantic partner, all right? Um, you're meant to be part of a strong family unit, whether again, that's blood family 
or friends and romance or even a combination of both that's a focus it's a grounding it's central for you some of you very strong providers for your family some of you really raising rising through um, different levels of receiving abundance You know, some of you may have a career and at some point you become a stay-at-home parent or even um, some of you are going to do like foster care. All right, editor. Your writing or other creative project benefits from outside help and support. Okay, so those of you that have creative talents, gifts, ideas, you can make them happen. You can make them a reality, but you may need some learning, some study. You may need the help of another person. Okay, so for those of you where that rings true, you know, say angels, okay, who, who do I need to help me? And the next steps of this journey of expanding on my creative talents, abilities, uh, especially those of you that are writers. Next, we have speeches and speaking. You have important messages to deliver that can help others. And so <clears throat> this is a leadership energy, right? And there's a lot that you have to share when it comes to speaking in front of others, whether this is, you know, um, speaking in front of your co-workers, this is teaching classes, this is having some sort of platform where you're sharing your wisdom, your knowledge. You also give really good advice. You have a strong understanding of, about life and cause and effect. You offer amazing advice, and when you tell somebody, well, if you keep doing this, this is what's going to happen, it ends up happening, and they're like, wow, you are absolutely right. Deserving. You, like all of God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. All right, so you may struggle with uh, feelings of worthiness, being insecure, questioning your talents, your gifts, your abilities, your skill. And this is the angels saying, you are amazing. You deserve as much happiness, joy, and love as anybody else. And make sure you believe that. And if you don't believe that, work on that right now. On believing in your deservingness, in your worthiness. And divine guidance. The ideas you are receiving are heaven-sent answers to your prayers. Okay, so you guys do receive a lot of divine guidance and inspired ideas from the higher realms. So the way you will experience that is either through your intuition or as a download of thought into your mind that will feel like your own thought, but it kind of just comes out of nowhere. Really pay attention to your intuition and those divinely inspired ideas and divine information that is given to you. I'm also feeling there's a purity about you. You really walk the line. You put in the energy and effort. You do what it takes. You're loyal. Anybody would be lucky to have you on their side. All right, Archangel Raphael with Lifestyle. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Okay, yeah, see with this body work, some of you are meant to be like nutritionists, health coaches, um, personal trainers, 
dietitian. Some of you may be amazing at cooking, but with this card coming out, this is Archangel Raphael saying to always make sure that you are in tune with your physical body, with your physical avatar, and giving it everything that it needs, properly nourishing it, hydrating it, getting enough rest, giving it love. Your body is what sustains your existence in this life journey. And make sure that you're always loving and honoring your physical avatar and taking really good care of it and asking it what it needs. And those of you, you know, that do this body work uh, for a living, call upon Archangel Raphael to strengthen you and expand your skills. Next, we have Archangel Raguel, Divine Order. This is the Archangel of divine justice and harmony and see the scales it goes back to that Libra and energy everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see the underlying order yeah that is you you are very fair and balanced and just you have the ability to see multiple sides to any situation okay um, there is just this element of truth that is at your core to be honest and straightforward and stand up for what's right. All right, Archangel Sandalphon, gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So go easy on yourself. And that goes back to, I mean, I was going to say to deserving, but this comes out right underneath deserving. There may be where you struggle, again, with self-esteem, insecurities, worthiness. Be kind to yourself. Be loving to yourself. You deserve as much. And we have Archangel Azriel with comfort. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. All right, so when you feel that... You need some like motherly love, nurturing, holding, comfort. Call upon Archangel Azrael for that. Okay, she will come in. She will comfort you. She will hold you. I feel call upon um, Mother Mary as well. cycles intuition and this is the foundation of who you are and so this you are made to be honest to be truthful okay and you know there's going to come a point in your life where you are a human lie detector you know when somebody is being very dishonest you're going to be able to read body language their energy you're just going to have a deeper understanding and so there will come a point where you are master in deception seeing the truth as well as seeing when somebody is lying um, you would make a very good detective at some point in your life journey okay um your intuition is strong and you will always be divinely guided and this element of truth and honesty about you walking this path is leading to something greater something more in your next life journey whether you incarnate here on the earth plane or somewhere else amongst the cosmos all right, what you are doing this life journey is very significant for what's to come. You want a big elevation, your energy really rising to the next level through this life journey.
right, magic maker, captivate, touch, tantalize, sense. You have a deeper sense of wonder and magic than the average person. And because of that, there are times when things seem to manifest so easily and so effortlessly for you. You're like, how do I do this every time? Universe, help me out. How do I do this every time? Those moments in which things just magically manifest for you is because you absolutely deserve it. And when that's happening, feel gratitude, not just for the universe and all that is, but also for yourself and the choices you've made and doing the right thing and being an honest, true, and loyal person. You are blessed by the universe. messenger proclaim guide announce counsel okay so you do receive a lot of divine messages for yourself and um could even be for others if you are spiritually gifted and inclined i do feel that that may be your career change that at some point in this life journey you're meant to go into your spirituality and spiritual gifts full time all right, but remember, it would be a transition, a change that takes place over time. But you do receive a lot of divine messages to help navigate you and guide you on this journey. Always listen, always follow through. You are very protected. Next is advocate. And then look at, we've got justice again, that Libra energy again. Advocate, reconcile, uphold. Um, adjudicate and balance. Um, maybe some of you even go into some sort of like law, the judicial system of, you know, some position there. But you are law and order, my friends. You are honesty and truth, fairness and balance. And it's crazy that we're getting these um, confirmations and we just felt that in the opening. So um, that keeps coming through over and over. And theater, participate, challenge, co-create, contend. Yeah, see, you see through anyone's facade. You see the mask that they wear. But you also understand why they wear that mask. You don't just detect the lie. You know why somebody is lying. Why they are choosing to be dishonest at this time. And also, if you ever wanted to act or do theater, you should absolutely pursue that dream, this life journey, and believe in yourself. I do get that, that many of you struggle to believe in yourself. Call upon Archangel Gabriel. Call upon Archangel Michael. Right, what do we have? Hedonist inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. You deserve happiness joy, pleasure, and that's a message where I was getting that you need to, you know, let yourself have more fun sometimes and let yourself not be so serious at times. Very responsible you are. Right, storyteller, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. And um, I that message of you articulate yourself well. Some of you are meant to write stories, um, vlogs, maybe even a book. Okay, so there's a confirmation. King, enlightened, benevolent, benevolent leader, benefiting those in your charge C, you're honest, you are fair, you are true, you are a leader, you are really evolving this life journey. And so we have child with wounded, awakens compassion and desire to serve others, 
other wounded children opening opens the learning path of forgiveness okay so some of you may have had a very rough childhood and that's what's inspired you to be honest and true and create you know your own family your own support system but also you are a protector and a healer you give really good advice you're somebody who you can be gentle loving and compassionate but you can also be stern when you need to be but I do feel one of your biggest obstacles this life journey is some emotional wounds that have to do with your childhood with your growing up years whether that's with your family um, what you went through with your peers with your friends with schooling all right there's definitely some um, old wounds that you will from childhood that you work on in adulthood and through that you have major transformation Neptune, mysticism, spirituality, escapism. All right, so Neptune is often about illusions, but the way I feel you is, again, there comes a point in life where you can't lie to yourself, even like you know when you are illusioning yourself, and you can read others' energy like it's nothing. All right, you are one person that sees the truth through the illusion even any propaganda in the media anything like that you always see through it okay north node destiny purpose activation so north node is what you're reaching for this life journey your calling and this aligns to that message where you're walking the path that you are this lifetime because of where it's leading you into your next life journey. And this is a confirmation of that. Now we have Cancerian energy, nurturing, sensitive, caring. This goes back into the family. Family is going to be a big deal to you. Whether your blood family or the family that you create through friends and romantic partner. And now we have 8th house, metamorphosis, death, rebirth. So 8th house is a very transformational house it has a lot of intense emotions attached to it okay it's about shared resources and death and rebirth so you are working with some eighth house energy this lifetime and what that tells me is any time that you get down um, that you fall down you will always pick yourself up and rise higher than before one and you know at times maybe if you're surrounded by people you feel like you're alone and on your own just because you are you're on a very fixed path it's about honesty and truth and doing the right thing and at times you feel that that alienates you because people want to be dishonest all right three of pentacles you're going to grow and build and you also have your soulmates, your soul tribe that you will align to this life journey. Nine of Pentacles. Um, you're meant to come into great wealth, comfort. You're going to be fiercely independent. You're really good at what you do. You're willing to put in the energy, the effort. You're willing to go the extra mile. And uh, Six of Swords. So, you know, anytime things aren't 
going the greatest, you will flow out of that. Okay, you will. And look at here, very next card. Who do we have? Justice, the card that represents Libra. And we've received that Libra energy all throughout this reading. So here it is again. This life is about justice, order, truth, fairness, what is right. And you're an inspiration to others. You do the right thing even when you don't want to. You are often the bigger person in situations and sometimes that doesn't feel fair. You are a good mediator. You're a good peacekeeper. You're good at seeing, you know, both sides of a situation. You're self-aware. You're responsible. And you were made this way for great purpose because it's really taking you to the next level in your next life journey. Always trust your judgment and your intuition over all others. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.